Day seven in Tassie, Mark. Botanical Gardens first up or what? Absolutely. It's gonna be a great day. Bloody awesome day. Curdy's ready. He's got his belt on. Does anyone want to have a look at Curdy's an update on Curdy's pups? Curdy and Bonnie made babies a week, nearly a week ago, so I'll give you a quick look at an update on the pups. There's Nico just coming out of the shower. Ready for a big day. All right. Road trip on our road trip to Mount Wellington. 1200 metres above sea level. There she is. Over there. 12, that's seven kilometres away, that mountain. 1200 metres above sea level. Out the front of that is Hobart. To find that road, he can pull that went over the hill on the way into town. That was incredible view of the city. Curdy. Are we going on a road trip on our road trip? Yeah! <laughs> Do you two know what you're doing or what? Somebody just done a pop off. Did you just do a pop off, Mitter? <laughs> I think you might have done a pop off. <laughs>
still a long way to go. These orange poles are so that you know where to drive when the road's covered in snow. It snowed here two days ago. There's the top right there. Bloody beauty. And as you get higher to the summit, the orange poles get taller. mountain bike ride down this mountain would be unbelievably good. Pretty cool. Very cool. Didn't know
I just spoke to that guy there. He tells me it takes them over two hours to get down to the bottom on their mountain bikes. Over two hours to get to the bottom. That is unbelievable. That's the amount of crisscross zigzag trails they do here. What a rush that would be. Simone. Simone, one of those guys just told me it takes them over two hours to get to the bottom on their mountain bikes. Oh. Huh? You could have brought yours up. Could have, didn't Wait, get a bit coming. Mount Wellington, if you're lucky enough to get to Tasmania, put Mount Wellington on your list because this place is unbelievably good. I'll point out a few things in Hobart ne next clip. You can see the race course down there, that's where we're staying. race course right there in the middle of the screen caravan parks right beside it that's where we're staying that's seven kilometers away you can see the tassie bridge there going across the water and the big ocean liner that's parked on the waterfront Victorian crew. Are we there yet? Oh, we are. Did you find the caravan yet? I did, right there. <laughs> and Tasmania is so mesmerising, it's gorgeous. <laughs> You could survive in here, couldn't you? No. 
Who's about to? Come in. Beautiful. What do you say back at camp, Nick? It'll be freezing up there. Can be. Can be. Could be in 20 minutes. Looks like Simone's heading for the Thunderbox. Are you and Kurt going to be able to handle this vertigo down Mount, Mount Wallen trip down the hill? Um, if I look straight ahead, or maybe not that straight ahead, turn. I've got you, baby. Kurti, oh, I've got you. Kurti's not paying, he's loving it. Kurti's scared of nothing. Down we go. Kurti's doing a zoomy going down the mountain. Ah, Kurti. <laughs> What's your problem? Want to bite me mum. <laughs> you
go feral. Just going down Mount Wellington, Nick. It's 1.2 kilometers above sea level. It's huge. It's, uh, I don't know if you've seen anything on YouTube, but this one will be on YouTube sometime tonight. It's bloody awesome up here. Kevin Kurt loves it. Kevin Jimmy's in the car. Good old Zoom. Down there. Geez, you can bloody eat, oh, Fulton. Settle down. Wasn't my choice. You're a bloody eating machine. <laughs> well, the thing is. Any good? Not bad. It's a yummy tucker down here. Halfway down the mountain at the cafe. Yum yum. Thanks, Mugs. Bloody legend you are. Very nice, very, very, very well done in here. What a beautiful little humpy. Little generator running in there for all their power and electricity for the cafe. That's the one I'm interested in doing this afternoon, right there. Look at that. Talked him into the quick walk to look here. We're going to attempt to mountain bike this a little bit later takes over two hours to get to the bottom. That'd be awesome. What are you doing, Elbel? Coming? Yeah. Are you having a snooze?
Come on, lazy bones, speed it up a bit. Get them feet moving faster. Quick, quick. Come on. Oi. Keep going. See, I told you, I knew you had it in you. Quick, I'm coming. Into it. That's the way. It's all in your head, Al. Keep going. Keep going. Knew you could do it. Look out. Look out. Look out. 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 Look out, look out, look out. There we are. Another look out. Don't even think about that. Oh, you need a rest from running. How good's this? The old panoramic photo's on. Medias. He embarked on a sponsor to the pinnacle. His journey finished on these ropes. That's the runner that thought you were very cute, Curdy, cuter than a wombat. Are you cuter than a wombat, but <laughs> Mum is. Pretty serious bike rack. I love the little dumpy exhaust. Bit rough going for the old bus.
Botanical gardens, this way, Curdy. Beautiful wrought iron gates. I can't bother. Oh, <laughs> you're an outlaw. Come on, Mitta, quick. Talk about persistent. Too long. Too long.
Margaret and I are going back to camp to get me bike. I'm gonna nail that mountain this afternoon and uh, we'll be home by five, ready to go for dinner. We'll see you then. Well, we are currently on the way back to camp. We are going to the top of there, Mount Wellington. We're gonna nail it on the mountain bike. From the halfway point where the cafe is that you've seen a minute ago, it's nine kilometers zigzag down through the mountain, across all the trails. Hopefully we'll see some wildlife. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna send it on, on the mountain bike. Oh, there she is. She's itchy. She's ready to go. <laughs> well, uh, there she is, ready to go. Let's do it, sweetheart. Keep me nice and safe. Let's go. Straight to the top. Right to the top of that we're starting. We go down about a third of the way to the cafe, which is right there on the edge. And then we start our nine kilometer voyage zigzag right down into Hobart. Well, it's getting real now on the way to the top with the mountain bike we're going to send it all the way down it's 21 kilometers to the top we do part of it on the bitumen on the way down and then the rest of its trails from the cafe which is three quarters of the way up from the cafe back into hobart full noise on the trails What do they say, Marg? No guts, no glory. More mento. Memento more. Jason Kelly. If you ever see this, you'll be watching. Memento more. It means to live while you're alive. Get up it and be scared of nothing. Mr. Posty. We are not even a third of the way up and we're in a suburb where there's houses everywhere and a couple of little side streets, but it's the only way up to the summit. It is 1.25 kilometers from sea level. It's huge. Mount Wellington, Tasmania, look it up. There's mountain bikers up here everywhere, bus, shuttle buses and everything uh, heading to the top. And, you know, I bought me bike on this trip and I can't resist this sort of uh, adventure. So we're taking, a, taking the bull by the horns and we're gonna get it done. These guys will be with me in spirit. Lookout point, quarter of the way up. I can remember being here about an hour ago. You can see Hobart down there. We are halfway to the top, halfway.
summit. Say, hey, Caddy. Here we go. 21 kilometers apparently to the bottom. The GoPro's on and ready. Should get some footage, got me drink. It's unlocked. See you at the bottom, darling. See you down there. See you, legend. Here we go. Well, I must be honest, I absolutely live for this sort of stuff. Skydiving, jump, bungee jumping, mountain climbing, mountain biking. I absolutely live for it. I'm in my element and I can't wait to hit the trails. I'm gonna overtake Margaret on the way down. God only knows what speed I'm gonna be doing, but the road will probably be 50 to 60, and then the trails will be somewhere between 30 and 60, I'd imagine. Anyway, let's get this mad adrenaline rush done. Memore mente. Live while you're alive. Just over 60. The wind, the wind's that strong, it keeps putting the camera back. Don't do it one handed, they said. Why not, I said. Sixty four kilometres an hour. Just come about seven and a half kilometers in like six minutes. That was flying. Average speed of about 65, 70 kilometers an hour. That was hooking in. Right. 
but there is, um, what's it called? Where is it? Like the rock and wheeling track that I believe takes you down. Um, otherwise, what was it's that? all fine. Yeah. So I think finger post was just for walkers. Oh, it says on their boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I go that way. All right, what was your name? Maddie. Maddie, can I put you on YouTube? <laughs> Hi. Thank you very much. Maddie's going <laughs> to show us the right way. And Maddie was very helpful, Margs. She was. And she even remembered you from getting uh, coffees about an hour and a half ago. She did too. <laughs> Here we are. Now I know exactly what trail to take and where to get off. And man, you would have just seen that map. There is trails and upon trails. They are absolutely everywhere. What's that? Where's your bike? Over the other side there. We'll be all right. No one will touch me, bike. Bit of deja vu going on here. We were here not even an hour and a half ago. This time I bought me mountain bike. One thing I do remember about coming down the road there was it's a really hot day, quite, it's probably about 25 degrees. And uh, coming down flat out on the bike was actually quite cold. See you somewhere down around Strickland Ave. No. You, you too, mister. See you at the bottom, babe. Alrighty, so See you. Be there me. I'll probably be there before you. 16 minutes from here. 16 minutes? I don't know about that. Here we go again. Full noise to the bottom. Wow, I'm only a couple of minutes into it. <laughs> this place is out of control.
this is good fun. There's the pinnacle right up the top. There she is. Riding time, I've probably come down here probably 16 to 18 minutes. We're hooking in. So much fun. There's the bitchy. <laughs> I've seen the bitchy for a little while. Tires are still good. Well, there you go, you can see the pinnacle through there. We've come down here in about 25 minutes from the top. I'm almost at the bottom. So I said to Margaret at the top, meet me at the hairpin down here, and she's still not here. But she's only minutes away, she's just around the corner, I've just rang her, and I've beaten her from the top on my bike down all them trails. What a rush. This is the hairpin that we're supposed to meet at. I've been here literally three minutes and there she is. She would have spotted the bike there. Me, re me recovery lady. Oh, Margs, bloody legend. So you can see here this water that comes from up the mountain. There's a couple of different springs right up on top that come down their own way and down here and they've made it go under the road. We're, we're alive. We're alive, Katie. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hand. Oh. Katie's the boss. Good job, bud.
Curdy, watch out for all them wombats, mister. Margs has gone for a walk. Let's go and have a look. Curdy, quick. What? Oh, my God. This is like something out of the Avatar. How beautiful is this? Avatar, Marg. Let's go. Let's go up and have a look, babe. Wow, have a go at this. Whatever used to be there many years ago was made out of concrete. Actually, that either it might be just slate rocks. Yeah, more than likely slate rocks. Yes, oh, this is one of the walking trails. Let me go through. Yeah, I've got no Wow. Have a go. This is the walking trail that goes right up to the top. Wouldn't be like this all the way, but. Things you stumble across when you get out there and have a go. Especially when you got the wings on your side. <laughs> Woo! Are you coming? Are you coming? Come on. See you, Curdy. See you, Miller. See you, Curdy. He went over there. Yeah. See you, Miller. See you, Miller. Get her. See ya. Come on, you big scaredy cat. Quick, move. Ready, set, go. Get up. Get up. Come on, Mum, get you. Someone's a little bit scared. Are you coming? He's a bit scared. The rock's off camber and he's a bit scared. This is so nice. Here we go, we just found something else. Oh, mum's going to save him. Go oh, on, save him, mum. Just help him halfway and then let him go. Now he's right. Oh, you big chicken, Curdy. It is a bit slippery on that rock. How beautiful is this? I'm going to have a look in that tunnel that goes under the road now. Well, he normally follows me anywhere and everywhere, so let's see if he follows. Curdy, coming. Boy, clever, aren't you? Babe, there's another. Let Dad go first. No, Kurt, let Dad go first. Come on. Come on. Quick. Come on. Come on. Are you coming or not? Curdy, I'm going. Are you coming? Coming? Curdy! Quick! Come on! See you, Curdy! See you, Curdy! Okay. You won't be able to get through that bit.
You coming? Here, Teddy. Teddy. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Quick. Up here. Good boy. Oh, that's a boy. That's a good boy. Up here. Quick. Come on. Quick. Up we go. This way. Curdy. Quick. Oh, clever. Up. Curdy. Come in. Hey. We're going up to check out the other waterfalls. And Kurt, oh, have a go at this. What an oasis. Kurt, he's made it. This is something else here. You made it, didn't ya? Follows me everywhere. The trail I come down on the mountain bike's not far behind here. Down, up and up and down another hill, and then down to where the car is. Wow, this place is just oh, Mother Nature's just I'm gobsmacked. Curdy's like a bloody mountain goat. We come up through that way. Watch, he'll make it all the way back to the car without me touching him. That way looks a bit sketchy. Bit of a drop. Let's check this one out. Kurt, let's check this out. Oh, yep. Curdy will be able to do that. Come on! Hey! Daddy! Here, Dad got ya! Dad got ya! Come on! Good boy! I thought you would just jump down there! I thought you would! You can do it! You can do it, Curdy! Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> Love it, Dad! Mm -hmm. Give me kisses! Give me, give me kisses! Oh, you're beautiful! Have a drink. Coming. Boy, you're like a mountain goat, aren't you, Curdy? Good boy. Another big wall there that's been washed out over time. So that. That slate wall there, and that slate wall there, and that even bigger slate wall there, and the waterfall you've seen up the top, once upon a time would have all been one piece. Mother Nature's done a number on it. Yep, swag, the feed, I could live here. Let's go and have a look under the tunnel, Curdy. Mum's having a rest. What a bloody awesome job that beast does. Dual suspension, 28 gears. It's got horns and sirens, camera, quad lock, a button for up and down with the seat. 
There's nowhere that thing can't go. Coming? Hey! Gonna look. There it is, Curdy. Look. Look. There it is down there. Oh! There's always light at the end of the tunnel. It's all about your perspective and your attitude, if you ask me. Always light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it is beautiful. You know too, don't you? Positive thinking equals happiness. Period. Home time. Tell you what, super proud of myself and extremely happy that uh, we come back here and done the trail. Been up that mountain twice today. Come down once in the car, you would have seen that. And then nailed it on the mountain bike. There's not another feeling in the world like it. It is brilliant. Absolutely love the great outdoors. Tasmania, Hobart. Get it on your bucket list and bring your bike. Well, we nailed Mount, Mount Wellington on the mountain bike. It's all done. Done it in under 28 minutes from the very top to the very bottom. Uh, it was amazing. We're heading back now for showers and uh, probably knock the top off a couple and get ready to go out for dinner. Well, here we are just hanging out in a bit of traffic, waiting to get out on the highway. And there she is. We, we accomplished her. Twice in one day we've been up there. Got to be beer o'clock somewhere. 